Shout out to the WTC family. We the chosen ones. How we feeling, everybody, on this beautiful Sunday? Beautiful day today. You already know where I'm at. Your boy's at the beach. What's up with y'all, man? But check this out, man. Check this out. God is saying right now, do not go back to the people that rejected you. Don't go back. Because they didn't know what, what they had. They fumbled the bag. <laughs> I'm not tripping. For the people that rejected me, for the people that betrayed me, for the people that tried to set me back, for the people that stabbed me behind my back, guess what? Everything happened for a reason. These people are not meant to be in your life. So therefore, that's why God allowed the rejection to happen. Understand where I'm coming from? So God is saying right now, do not go back to the people that rejected you because guess what? They're all going to come running back. I'm just speaking straight facts. They're all going to come running back. But God is saying, do not accept them back in your life because guess what? God got something bigger and better in store for the chosen ones. Nobody in the world gets rejected more than the chosen ones. I promise you. Nobody in the world get rejected more than the chosen ones. We get rejected on every occasion. It's crazy. And I'm starting to figure like, why do we get rejected so much? It's because of the simple fact that we are destined for greatness. I'm just keeping it real with y'all, man. We're literally destined for greatness. And you wonder why people are rejecting you, right? You wonder why people are turning their backs on you, right? You wonder why people acting weird when they're in your presence. Lately, people have been acting so weird lately. It's weird. You go on a date, people acting weird. <laughs> Understand what I'm saying? You can have the most perfect date, and people will switch on you. People will change on you in a heartbeat. Trust me. And I'm going to tell you why. Because people can't stand to be in your presence for too long. They can't be in your presence for too long. Because I'm telling you, you have greatness written all, all inside of you. You have greatness written all inside of you. You have unmerited favor written on your forehead. And that's why people reject you. Come on now, you know I'm going to keep it real with the people. It's a lot of people, the people that are rejecting the chosen ones, they think that they're chosen. They're not chosen at all. Understand what I'm coming from. And it's funny that the people that are rejecting the chosen ones, they're going to end up coming back anyway. Understand what I'm coming from. So God is saying do not go back because God said I'm about to get ready to bless you with something bigger and better. There's so many people in this world and we still sit up here complaining about who rejected us. We complaining about who turned their back on us. We complaining about who stabbed us in the back. And there's so many good people out here in this world. Y'all better get somewhere and live your life. As a matter of fact, y'all better get somewhere and live your best life. Understand, understand. You got to get somewhere and be focused out here because I'm telling you something. We're living in our last days. We don't have time to be fucking with people that's not really fucking with us, chosen ones. I need everybody to comment 11-11 this video. I need everybody to share this video. I need everybody to subscribe to my channel. Because it's about to get real up in here. Understand where I'm coming from. So, with that being said, continue to be separate, right? Come on from amongst these people, right? But guess what? Don't forget to put on the whole armor of God. Understand what I'm saying? Don't forget to put the whole armor of God. Because guess what? So that you can withstand the fiery darts of the devil. Amen? So what we're going to do is we're going to make a U-turn. Bust a U-turn. You know, this is my favorite thing to do. Bust those u turn right? Stay focused. Go back down memory lane. Right? Because when you're doing these videos, you have to get in the area where nobody's really bothering you. Nobody's really... You know, all in your space. Because what I'm saying is not for everybody's ears. Or it's not for everybody's eyes to see. Amen. But shout out to the chosen ones. Shout out to the beautiful children of God. Shout out to YouTube for this wonderful opportunity. And I'm telling you guys right now. You have to be focused. You have to stay focused. Because you know, the devil is seeking to whom he may devour. But no weapon for me against me shall prosper. We gotta move, we gotta move. 
That's why I had to uh, move locations, but I'm still at the beach just chilling. But I had to immediately move somewhere where it's just really me. I don't like to, you know, be bothered when I'm doing my videos. I gotta stay focused because the devil been busy lately. I'm gonna put this video out in the name of Jesus. But listen to what I have to say. Number one, you have to learn how to be ye separate and come out from these folks, man. Because guess what? If you keep hanging around these people, you're going to keep getting rejected over and over and over and over again. I'm tired of being rejected. It's time for the chosen ones to really do us. Right? It's time for us to just do us. And stop worrying about people. Just live our life. And whoever God sent, he going to sin. Right? We're too busy chasing people, trying to love people, trying to give people our all, giving people the shirts off our back. But in all actual reality, they wouldn't even give their shirts off their back to us if we ever needed this shirt. Understand what I'm coming from? If we needed to help a hand, ain't nobody going to help us. I'm just speaking straight facts. Ain't nobody going to help us, man. So, it's all good. We came in this world by ourselves. We got to lead by ourselves. But guess what? We're going to lead by example. Understand what I'm coming from? So, with that being said, y'all, listen. I don't like rejection, but hey, it's going to happen to the chosen ones a lot. Pretty much nine times out of ten because people can't be in your presence for too long. Tell them you got the anointing. We got the glow. Everybody not chosen, man. I see a lot of people on YouTube talking about they chosen. These people are not chosen, man. Trust me, I can tell. Half of these people don't even have the anointing. Half of these people don't even have the gift. Come on now. I ain't talking about they chosen. But it's all good, man. But back to the uh, subject. God is saying the rejection happened because he is redirecting you to something bigger and better. Right? Weeping man do it for a night. But we all know that joy comes within the morning, y'all. So don't worry about those rejections. Don't worry about those setbacks. You know, don't worry about people that's putting you back, right? Because we already know that. When God say move, or when God move on your life, when he brings somebody that's really good in your life, you're going to look back and be like, wow, these people rejected me for no reason. I always look back over my life and I'm like, wow, these people really rejected me for no reason. <laughs> they can't even find a reason on why they went ghost on you. That's the most weirdest rejection in my life. When somebody just literally just go ghost on you without telling you why they went ghost. That's crazy. So, you got to stay focused, man. And continue to keep the faith. Don't give up because guess what? It's only a test that we're going through. Amen. So, with that being said, y'all, thank you for the support, the love. I thought I'd leave a really, really quick video today. Understand what I'm saying? So, hopefully this video tests somebody today. God got something better for you, man. Understand what I'm saying? Rejection, it, you know what I mean? It can be meant in a lot of ways. Not only just people rejecting you, a job can reject you. There's a lot of rejection that happens to the chosen, especially to the chosen ones. You go out to eat, you go to a restaurant, people are rejecting you. <laughs> I'm telling you, if you're chosen and you go out to eat, you think you're going to be really get treated like the chosen one unless you're in a really great uh, neighborhood and you're, around, and you're around really great people. Right? But to make a long story short, you know, just keep the faith, you know, don't give up because it's only a test that we're going through. And, you know, if, if, if God, you know, did it for me, he'll show enough to do it for you. Amen. So, you know, don't worry about what will put you back, you know, in the past. Don't worry about it. Understand what I'm saying? Don't worry about what set you back. Right? Because guess what? The comeback is bigger than the setback. The people that rejected you, who gives a fuck? Fuck these motherfuckers. Excuse my French, but fuck them. They're just people. God's going to bring some more people in your life. God's going to bring more people in your life. I'm telling y'all, man. Be ready to receive the blessings of the Lord. Because we already know the blessings of the Lord makes rich. That's just straight facts. Continue to be yourself. Continue to be loving. Continue to be caring. Continue to be cordial. Be nice. But guess what? The people that rejected you, don't go back to these people, man. I don't want to see their faces anymore. Because <laughs> the rejection happened for a reason. They wasn't fucking with you in the first place anyway. So that's why they rejected you. 
Come on now. These people are not even happy with themselves. These people are not even happy with their own lives. Come on now. So that's why rejection take place, man. You know, they're not used to rare. They, I mean, they're not used to real. You know what I mean? It's very rare to come across a chosen one. It's very rare, especially to have the whole package. Very, 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 very rare. But like I said, guys, I'm gonna get you to the next level, regardless of what, guys. Right? I know that Jesus is the reason for the season. Right? And also know this one thing, God can do all that we can ever ask or think of him, right? So, when people reject you, everything happens for a reason. Give God the glory, honor, and praise. Because just imagine if you would have never got rejected. Just imagine if you would have still been in that same stuck situation. <laughs> think about it. You're better off, you know, getting rejected. You're better off. You know what I mean? Because it makes you stronger. It makes you wiser. You feel me? It makes you so much a better person. Right? So, just know that don't take rejection as a bad thing. You know, sometimes I used to take rejection as a bad thing. Oh, was it me? Did it something that I say? You know what I mean? Did it something, was it something that I did? You know what I mean? Uh, could I have done this better? No, you didn't did everything right. Did I say anything out of line? Did I dress, you know, inappropriately? No, ain't none of that shit. You did everything perfect. And they sit up here trying to figure out or trying to pinpoint something wrong about you. But in all actuality, when you're chosen, right? We find no fault in the chosen ones. We literally find no fault in the chosen ones. But that's what people would do, man, you know. They would try to pinpick something wrong. They always tell me that if I go on a date, they say, there gotta be something wrong about you. Hmm. Why they don't do this shit in your face? There has to be something wrong about you. Hmm. I'm like, what? Why are you trying to find something wrong about me? That's weird. We're human. I'm not perfect, but I'm worth it. And some people just, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's too hard to... To believe or, or too hard to be to be true or some shit like that. I don't know. They always tell me that. Always. So, with that being said, man, you did everything right. You been you, you just being yourself. You were just being the chosen one that you are. And, and honestly, God is saying this, man. Listen, y'all. Tunnel vision. We always say, yeah, I'm tunnel vision. I'm focused. I'm cutting people off, but we're not really cutting people off. We got to be really tunnel vision. The devil tried to stop me today. I'm putting this video out in the name of Jesus. Come on now. Tunnel vision. Got to stay focused. Got to stay on the grind. Got to keep putting out fire content. Because I'm telling you, man, we're really living in our last days where we about to be facing all kind of spiritual warfare. <laughs> I think it's worse right now. You just wait five more years, ten more years down the line. Come on now. Also, if you guys want to be a part of the WTC mentor program, email is Jordan underscore Howard, eighteen at yahoo.com. Email your boy, and I definitely will get you to the next level. Understand? Understand? Also, if you guys want to be a blessing to my YouTube, my cash app is dollar sign. God will provide three zero. Uh, my PayPal is God will provide three zero. Amen. So be a blessing. I appreciate all my new subbies. Shout out to the original subscribers. Shout out to YouTube for this wonderful opportunity again. I'm humbled by this. And guess what? We're going high. High, higher than the sky, higher than the rocket can fly. Understand where I'm coming from. And just know that if God is for you, can't nobody be against you. Let these motherfuckers go. Let them reject you. Because guess what? They wasn't meant to be in your life for a reason. And just know one thing. If you need a friend, you know you got it in me. If you need prayer, you already know you got a prayer warrior in me. If you need motivation, if you need inspiration, you already know you got the best motivational speaker in the whole wide world, your boy. Understand what I'm saying, baby. We the chosen ones. Be blessed.